So I'm Aya from Macquarie University, Sydney. Uh, I'll be telling you today about my research. I'm doing my PhD, this is my second year. Um, it's about Conway Maxwell Poisson distribution. So I will talk about methods for count data modeling, dispersion, Conway Maxwell Poisson distribution and properties, examples, and conclusions. So probably all of you know Poisson distribution. It's very common for count data. If you already have done a course, for sure you are here for R, uh, have done a course or studied stat, I had a look at stat book as well. You will uh, mostly find the common example, which is about number of deaths from horse kick uh, in the Persian army. Uh, you will find charts, tables. Uh, probably you have seen negative binomial as well, generalized Poisson distribution. Um, what's the dispersion? So dispersion is um, just describing how spread or how squeezed are our data. So it's kind of describing the, um, the it's, it's for the ratio between the variable, the variance and the mean. Um, in some kind of data, we have the variance equal the mean, which is the equidispersion uh, case. In other cases is under dispersion. So, so the over dispersion where the variance is greater than the mean. The under dispersion where the variance is less than the mean. Uh, we can fit our data in this case, like if it's over dispersion using the negative binomial, while if it's under, we can go to generalized Poisson. If it's equidispersion where variance equal to the mean, uh, that's Poisson distribution. So what about general case? If you have data, you are not sure what kind of dispersion there, or it could be that data, there's subsets of that data where that subset is over dispersed and the other subset is under dispersed. What can you do? We really need um, a model to just be able to fit all, all kinds of data with all levels of dispersion for count data. Um, so it, it, it's, it usually came with um, Shamali and Sela were trying to find um, doing research uh, in 2000 where uh, online uh, shopping were very rare. So they tried to find number of weeks between online grocery shopping. And um, they were trying to do it using Poisson and then they weren't able to, they were searching for two years and at the end they add a parameter to Poisson and they called that distribution Poisson new, which is Poisson dispersion parameter. And then suddenly they just found the paper had been published in um, engineering journal and uh, in 1965, something like that, called Conway Maxwell Poisson distribution, which is Poisson added the new parameter. Um, unfortunately, no one have revived that paper or did extra research for that. So they just deleted their name Poisson new and just took that name Conway Maxwell Poisson and uh, they started dealing with that. They revived that, they published a paper first, reviving that uh, paper, reviving that uh, uh, model. So what's the thing, why it's yoga here? It's not because I will be doing yoga uh, during my uh, PhD research. It's just to tell you how flexible is that uh, model. It got two parameters only. It's so flexible, can fit all uh, level of dispersions. So it's um, CMP or Compoisson. So it's just abbreviation, the name. So, and it generalized the uh, Poisson distribution and contained Bernoulli and geometric distribution in the same um, case. Uh, here's the probability mass function. As you can see, it's uh, pretty much like um, the Poisson distribution. If you put if n equal to one, if the dispersion equal one, that's Poisson distribution. Uh, Z, don't worry about it, it's just normalizing. Factor, um, some people will hate it. It's just a mention for infinity numbers. I know it cause pain, eh? Not, and it's most people will just hate dealing with infinity summation, but the good news about it, you can approximate it and you can truncate it as well. So as a new um, increase from zero to eight, it uh, just passed through uh, special cases. 
So as a new equal to zero, it gives geometric regression where they count the number of trials till the first failure. As new equal one, as we said before, it's Poisson distribution. And uh, as new go to infinity, it's um, uh, so the zero one probability of success and the probability mass function lambda divided by one over lambda. That's Bernoulli. And uh, it's just like if we can see how it cover a very big range of the dispersion, zero to infinity. As we know, dispersion usually is um, the, the new dispersion parameter should be greater than zero. And um, just to make sure for like over dispersion, you less than one. Under dispersion, you greater than one. Okay. So they allow for lambda for each observation. Here is the model assumption. So it's under the relation between the mean and the linear predictor. Here are some examples for applying Conway Maxwell Poisson. So wherever you find count data, that's an example for Conway Maxwell Poisson. It's as we said, it's more general. It's more than what Poisson can contain or generalized or so if you can say uh, uh, linguistics for fitting world links, marketing in transportation, number of cars, uh, for ac uh, a number of accidents in biology, if you can say these days in Facebook for number of comments, number of um, likes, and Twitters and number of calls. And then, um, then it started now with Alan Wang, who came and just found uh, this great distribution is an able to directly model the mean of count. So this issue just make it unable to be compatible or comparable with any other distribution, negative binomial or generalized Poisson or whatever. So what did he try? Alan Wang just tried to directly model the mean and uh, he tried that using MATLAB, okay? And um, as you can see here, the probability mass function is here. And he called that Conway Maxwell Poisson mu, which can model the mean of count. So this is the variance for that. Expect y minus expect y square, as you can see, the expected value expression <coughs> is here. Okay, for count y giving x. So as as we know, the log um, it's it's log link here. So like for um, uh, let me just talk about this later. So uh, for the asymptotic normality, what did I um, try? So as I said, like sometimes for the same data, you may find some a subset of that data over dispersion, uh, dispersed, and the other subset is under dispersed. So in this case, we have to, like, it, so what I try to do with uh, Thomas Funk, who's my supervisor, uh, we are trying to do our package uh, for this model. And um, we are trying for sure to cover all, uh, whatever we can uh, cover for that uh, case. So, so we are trying to do the, to deal with non-constant dispersion uh, uh, case, where we can, where you can be able to uh, fit your data using that model, uh, it doesn't matter if you have a uh, uh, different level for the same data of dispersion. So as you can see here, for non-constant dispersion for Conway Maxwell Poisson, I just found the uh, information matrix. And here is the, for Conway Maxwell uh, Poisson mu. As you can see, the covariance equal to zero, which just to prove that uh, the second derivative for respect to um, gamma and theta equal to zero, which just proved that uh, it's orthogonal, uh, orthogonality between mean and dispersion. Yeah, so they are independent of each other. Okay, so this slide shows the regression model. Y given X, expected Y given X. So as we said before, the mean is functionality independent of the dispersion parameter. And the model is flexible and comparable with other common log linear regression models used to model count data. 
So if you give me data, say fit this data, um, probably for estimation, I'll be thinking about these three options, success probabilities, log likelihood, and uh, Bayesian. So depend of how fast you want that to be and um, um, how accurate as well. So if you go for success probability, so it's, it's just quick and easy. You can draw the ratios between consistent probabilities, 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3. And uh, then the, the dispersion parameter is the slope, and the intercept is lambda, uh, taking for sure the log after taking the log for both sides. Uh, what I have done, um, maximizing the log likelihood. So if you have a log here, uh, taking the log for um, the log likelihood is, um, you don't have to worry about all, 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 all data. Like, you don't have to know the, the data itself. Like, you, you just have to worry about summation for yi, summation of log yi, and for sure the sample size. The Bayesian, there were some details in my laptop. Doesn't matter, I haven't been doing that. Uh, here's an example. So I got this over dispersed data. And um, I, where we are trying to find the relation between the number of days absence from high schools and the gender, the math score, and the academic program doing general academic or vocational. So this shows the residual verse fit. So as we can see here, it's equal variance and it's spread evenly around the line. So what I tried to do, I tried to fit this data with, um, um, with generalized, uh, uh, with the gamma count uh, uh, first, uh, it didn't converge. And then I, I just tried to compare all, all these models with each other, which one gonna be like the best for, for that data. So generalized Poisson, um, it converged, give very, as I'm trying to maximize the likelihood, it gives a bit smaller value for maximizing likelihood, but it was all right, not bad. Um, hyper Poisson, so like for my data, which the sample size was 314, uh, uh, my, my model took um, uh, 10 seconds to do that. If we talk about hyper Poisson, it's so costly. It took 3,416. Can you imagine, like, it's very long time. Uh, come for us on regression without, uh, without uh, model the mean, it, it just didn't compare for more than two variables. <clears throat> okay, so this uh, here you can see the QQ plot of uniform uh, PIT. As we can see for the theoretical sample, it shows like very close agreement with the uniform distribution and which, 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 which tell us that the Conway-Maxwell-Poisson model just fit the data very well. If you can see here. And this can be proven by the histogram of probability integrant transform. As we can see, it all goes around the uniform line. Okay, so what's our future work? Change, like adding that to our um, um, package in R, changing the dispersion parameter, uh, the zero inflated regression, and checking the goodness of it. Um, so what's this distribution? It's, it's just like I'm fun to this uh, distribution. It's great, it's so flexible, got uh, two parameters only. Um, as I said, cover all uh, levels of uh, dispersion. Um, yep, that's it. That uh, it's 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 a high speed as well, so it should be like cheaper than using any other <laughs> models. Yep, and here are some references as well. Okay, thanks for listening. If you have any questions.
Is it for, you mean for um, the generalized yeah, Poisson? Yeah. No, no, the generalized Poisson. Uh, mm. yeah. Yeah. So like when you're uh, fitting the log matrices in your, uh, using the log matrices of Poisson. In my model. How stable, how, how stable is that? Like, how numerically stable is that, like the distribution of that? So it can ap ap uh, approximate it as well. I have proven that how to, uh, I, 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 I probably I'll keep publishing a paper for approximating uh, the the normalizing oh, so character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. It should be. This is, yeah, going to be one of the um, plans, yeah. Okay, thanks. Uh, just a quick question. Yeah, sure. Um, have you tried out tweaks? Have you checked out tweaks? Which is like a continuous version of this. It's kind of similar to this. But have I checked out, uh, sorry, what? There's a distribution called Tweety. Tweety on a... Uh, Mm. Uh, okay, so uh, it's interesting. Yeah, thanks for telling me. Yep, yeah, will be. Yep. Oh, that is here. Okay, yeah, okay. But it's interesting as well, too. Yeah, thanks.